Hey guys, welcome to Duality 9X, your number one spot here on YouTube for the craziest, weirdest, strangest, freakiest paranormal videos that are circulating on the web. We're going to cover it all. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. I got my cup. Let's go. Oh, I like the strangest things, things found underwater. In 2021, a woman was diving in the Sheboygan River Sheboygan. in Michigan when she found a stuffed bottle. Inside of it was wow. a letter from 1926. And the letter stated, will the person who found this okay. letter return this to George Morrow in Sheboygan, Michigan and tell him where it was found. The girl then posted it on social media and it went viral. After no some way. time, George Morrow's daughter saw it and contacted her and said that her dad must have placed the message in the bottle when he was only wow. 18 years old. Wow. Um... That's interesting. So Sheboygan, this happened in Sheboygan, Michigan. I just like saying that, Sheboygan, Michigan. Uh, I've never been there. I'd, I'd definitely like to go. So um, I remember a long time ago when I was growing up as a kid and I'd, I'd like write kind of weird, quirky messages and I'd put it in a bottle and I'd just throw it somewhere into the lake or whatever with the hopes that somebody would perhaps maybe one day retrieve it, but never... I didn't really know how that would happen, how I would know or come to know if somebody actually saw it because I never left an address or a way to communicate with me had somebody found that bottle. So that's interesting, right? And you know, when you talk about time capsules and things along those lines and people finding stuff in their attic or digging stuff up in their, you know, their backyard and finding these like time capsules and that's really cool. Uh, this guy wrote this when he was probably 18 years old, like back in 1926. That's incredible. Uh, I like I like hearing about those kind of things. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. Oh. Strange things happening in Japan 2024. First day of January was earthquake. Second day was tsunami. Third day was plane crash. Fourth day there was oh. a lady injured train. We don't say much. And then on the nine oh. was this. Okay, Kurobi I will City. confirm this is Toyota, not Japan. editing video, it's a realistic video, 100%. And this cloud, it seems strange. Nobody knows what it what is, is exactly. It's beautiful, but also at the same time, it's very strange. It's happened 2024, January 9. So. What I don't know that? what it is, but it's beautiful and what it's strange that? and I don't know. And also, I don't want to think like overreacting thinking, but yeah, it's still a like very strange cloud. And there's a one a smaller circle is kind of like see. yellow. It seems it's a sun. I don't know. If you look closer, you can see it. Let me know what you think is this. What do you guys think it is? I've, I've, this is the first time I'm coming across this video. So this, this lady is talking about some uh, crazy incidents that happened in, in, in you know, the start of the new year in Japan, uh, Kurobi City, I believe, in Toyoma, Japan. Um, and she's talking about a few different you know, events that happened. But one of the events that we're not supposed to talk about is the lady in the train. We're not supposed to talk about that. What is that? If you guys anyways uh yeah if you guys know anything about that you know uh, put it in the comments uh but but this this is interesting so i've i've seen other videos like this where people are posting about these large anomaly like things that are just kind of hovering in the sky and uh very it looks like it's a huge led screen that's just kind of like you know floating around uh, along you know like uh the clouds there or the sky but if you notice um in respect to what this lady was saying it, 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 it it's kind of odd right like you notice that there's this like hue right this like light hue something that's kind of emitting from this thing it looks like you know like the trails of like a jet like the jet trails in the sky there's there's something there like it's not just like sky all around like it looks a little bit lighter and then it's, it seems like it's hovering over the mountains or just over it because if you notice the, the mountain ridges, there's a lot of light there. So I don't know if this has something to do with that. This is odd. And if that's the case, then this thing is a lot bigger than what we think because those mountain ridges are long. They're, they're massive. 
So for the whole mountain ridge to be illuminated like that, that means, I don't know. I Just like it says, I don't know. I really don't know what this is. So if you guys happen to strange know, put it in the comments. Strange things happening in Japan. Uh, this is definitely a video I'd like to do a little bit more research on. That was pretty interesting. And and it's this is not the only place. There's places in the U.S., in the U.K., where these like large anomaly like kind of things did you did you see the one with the clouds where the clouds are just like i don't know i'll i'll, I'll have to try to find that okay guys i just found something oh. incredibly weird on google earth and i want to know what you think this is gonna be okay you're gonna get on google earth here you want to go all the way over to nevada you're gonna go down into the desert just like this zoom in right here once you get all the way down you are gonna find a circular object kind of looks like a thumbprint but this is where it starts oh, to get crazy okay you're gonna zoom in right here right, and then you're gonna drop down to street view there should be a little dot you can click on wait for it right there okay now click on the dot and i'll zoom in now what you're about to see i cannot explain and i do not understand i'm like literally like i don't think i'm supposed to see this so here you go you're gonna zoom in you're gonna scroll over you're gonna see a man in all white on a bicycle looking really creepy but that's not the scariest part watch when I mean, you flip around there's a whole group of them in a circle doing some sort of weird ceremony or something i don't know you guys follow for more follow for you, you you hear about this a lot right i mean there's there's people who dedicate it their time and their efforts into just you know scrolling through Google Earth right for lengthy periods of time hours and hours and hours in hopes of finding videos like this so kind of makes me wonder the people that you know there's people on the flip side of the coin that know that these things are gonna happen and maybe for content and maybe just to create curiosity perhaps you know they plant these kind of objects in and around their area where they live their neighborhoods um in hopes that people like this gentleman would find them and talk about them i mean that is pretty creepy that's pretty odd to me that somebody owns this like acreage or this you know area and and they have these weird structures all in white doing you know in various poses for what purpose so that that's that's definitely weird and creepy okay oh so much hate on my pin TikTok about not being able to afford life currently and a lot of people are commenting saying like i'm only in my 20s and like what did i expect i shouldn't expect to be instantly successful and i need time to build experience and connections and mm -hmm. things like that which i completely understand what i'm saying is my generation is facing insane tax rates like right. they're gonna take away social security by the time i'm 70. i'm literally working with no incentive i'm gonna be working until i'm Sorry fucking dead Sorry basically language, for what i still can't afford anything and there we're literally about to go into world war three how do you expect me to go to work every day with a smile on my fucking face want to build connections build experience when i'm scared that we're gonna get fucking taken over or invaded or anything like that Great. throwing millions of dollars to ukraine when i can't even afford a box of fucking cereal for breakfast what do you expect me to do okay okay so uh, so sorry about the language guys she's she's clearly upset she's visibly upset she's distraught she's not happy and 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 she's not the only one. There's a lot of people all around the world, okay, that are feeling the pinch, the credit pinch, okay? And, you know, the last the last few years have, the, the last few years, four or five years have been horrible, okay? With new strains coming out, with this, with that, you know, the cost of food, just, you know, going through like all time highs, the cost of gasoline, Right, the cost of living in general has skyrocketed to the point where a lot of people are finding it very, very difficult to live. Okay, and what do you do? Right, so here's a young woman who, who clearly is a working professional and is finding, finding it hard to live through this credit pinch. Right, she's feeling the squeeze and it's not fun. And, you know, uh, a lot of her money is, uh, she's claiming that a lot of her money is going to taxes. And, you know, and, and there's a whole bunch of other things that are happening, right? I mean, there's the whole threat of, you know, destabilization in the world. Like, things are happening all around us. The world continues to burn, right? Like it or not, uh, whether you agree with me, disagree with me, the one thing we 100% can agree on is the world is burning. There's a lot of things going on all around the world. So many geopolitical, geopolitical tensions things that are happening between countries, 
um, there's a lot of there's a lot of scary stuff that's happening a lot that our governments don't even kind of bring us into the fold or don't want us to know and for obvious reasons they don't want like mass riots and chaos going and people looting like grocery stores but you know there's and I'm not saying we're at that level uh, but but there's a lot of things that are happening that that are leading up to something potentially chaotic catastrophic and and we hope we put our faith and trust uh, obviously in our leaders to do the right thing to um, to you know provide us with the necessary security and resources to be able to keep keep us safe and you know that that's all we can ask for but but there's other things that are going on and I I almost feel I almost feel we can we can have a whole segment just on this topic right with with all the craziness that's going on with with the credit pinch with people feeling the squeeze with people not feeling they have enough money to be able to do uh, the things that they want to do and it's not that people um, are afraid to plan people are people are, are and sorry it's not that people are uh, not good planners all right um, sure we're not all the the best when it comes to managing our finances and our and our financial health but people are not left with a lot of options you know and with the circumstances that surround a lot of people like just just take for instance um, you know there's places in in our country where a one bedroom apartment a one bedroom uh, uh, apartment for rent would cost anywhere a close to about three thousand dollars a month okay so you times that by 12 that's like thirty six thousand uh, dollars if the average person um, is making between forty to fifty thousand dollars a year and and that's gross money and you know that's not net of funds uh, and you have to pay three thousand for rent then you got to pay for food you got to pay for your insurances car insurance car payments yeah you know whatever and then if you have kids you know you don't really have a lot of money left over to be able to to do the things that you want to do to be able to enjoy life right there's there's a serious problem happening there's a serious serious issue and the governments need to find better ways to be able to address these issues so that people can start to live life again because you know the, the, we were talking about this the other day I'm not trying to go off on a tangent guys but but our our, our, our folks when when you know when they were growing up and when when they were living yeah times are different interest rates were crazy in the 80s they were like in multiple digits okay they're in double digits but the cost of houses were a, a lot lower and and yeah I understand that you can't make it, it's not even though they didn't get paid as much as some of the people are getting paid today like minimum wage if you think about it from in the last 30 40 years minimum wage has not gone up that much all right and especially in this day and age with the advent of technology science and health you would think that people would be getting paid a little bit more money but again if you live and if you work in cities where the real estate is just too high to buy like you can't even purchase anything and you have to resort to renting you're pretty much subject to the you're you're, you're at the mercy of your landlord however long they want to keep that rent for because technically they as soon as your renewal is up for lease they can they're in the right to be able to increase your uh, rent and uh, of course we would hope they you know and and that rent could be like market factors based on what everybody else is um, you know renting out their their units for but what what if you what what if you work part time? What if you're a single mom? What if you like how do you let how do you survive? How do you survive? So now you're going to be forced to living in a place where you don't want to live, a place that's alien to you that you're not familiar with. You might have to move to a completely different state altogether. You know, away from your family. What do you do? What do you do in those circumstances under those conditions? You know, it's 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 a and and yeah, I mean, you know what? We got to get to a, a other videos here. I could spend a whole day on this topic. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll talk about it again. But share your comments. What do you guys feel like? Do you guys feel like things are a little bit out of control? That the government needs to do a little bit better with helping bring down the prices of a lot of the perishable and consumable items that we're heavily reliant on? Like, I mean, just even going to buy 
just buying milk, a jug of milk, is like expensive. Anyways, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, you know what? I, I sometimes I, I tend to digress, but uh, but this was a serious topic, and and clearly this lady was visibly up, upset, and something we should definitely talk about in another video. On to the next one. Oh, this is gonna look good. This is fall off. We're hot now, huh? Fancy mug. Okay. So we're gonna make off. Looks like this guy is gonna smash you. I'm grabbing my shin. He's he's pissed. He's clearly pissed. I'm pissed. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to see this video. I I, I just want to see something here. Okay, so he's about to smash this two liter. Looks like a two liter Pepsi bottle, and send it to the moon, or obliterate this thing. Now he 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 looks like he's pretty fit. Um, you know. Now, okay, so this lady, maybe his wife, a friend, she's going to hold this bottle. Now, just, just think about this for a second. This guy's going to smash this bottle. What do you think is going to happen to this bottle? Pepsi is going to be flying everywhere. All over her. Possibly him. Maybe that's the whole point of this video. Maybe that is why he's doing this. And maybe that's why she's wearing a long white shirt okay so right here she sees him coming she drops the bottle that's the the fight or flight response right so she's not she just she doesn't want to she doesn't she's realizing now her brain starting to kick into overdrive her brain starting to go hello mcfly this thing is gonna smash and you're gonna be covered and drenched in in cola and so he and he winds up like look at his facial reaction he's winding up man he is boom and if you notice just on impact there's like a little bit of plume of dust or something you know particles that come right off of this metal post the, and the post doesn't even move like this was this is a, like part of like a, maybe the structure of the home and and, and you see, you see, right, like, look at the impact of this. And right after, and this guy trying to be in good sport, understanding that the camera is rolling. He, maybe this was a live stream. And he's looking. He's looking in the direction of the camera. Look, look at his eyes. And right away, he's grabbing his, he's grabbing his shin. And, and you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if he's got a fracture in that shin. He, he did some damage for sure. And he realizes that this challenge failed. He realized he's got to do this again, or now he's got to think of something else to do for his content. And he's a content creator. Clearly, he was trying to do this to video and to, to put it on video to showcase to the world what happens when you smash. A Pepsi bottle with you know like when you kick a Pepsi bottle into a obl like oblivion so realizing now he's now the pain sensors are kicking in and he's still trying to be a good sport he's holding it in he he has no choice but to grab that area and he is pissed now look at the guy behind him the guy behind him he had one job and that was to lean against the home and to watch one job why is the guy behind him look in more stress more distressed than he is and he's grabbing his shit as if he was the one who just went through this look at i'm not lying why is this guy doing that the same reaction that i had grabbing my i, I grabbed my right leg 
my shin after seeing this guy go through what he went through. Wow, that... He did achieve something. Psychologically, we all feel it. And he's pissed. And look, the poor guy behind him looks even like he's in worse shape than, than this guy. And he's mad. He's like, how could you do this to me? How could you drop this bottle? He's pissed. Like, that trust has been broken. There's, like, like, he feels so, like, look. He's like, how could you do this, man? And then he looks again at her. He's like, come on. You had one job. That trust is broken. And he's even more mad now because he realizes that he has to finish this video. He has to do it again. <laughs> Somebody needs to hold that bottle for him to finish. But now how is he going to do that? Now he's got to think of something else. Wow. Ah, he's so upset. He's upset. Well, we hope the guy's okay. We hope he got some medical help. Um, ah, come on, man. Okay, next. Ooh. Whoa! This is from a video game. This is from a video game or it's a movie. It's not real. CGI, AI. That was cool. So if you guys if you guys know which video or uh, game this is from, can you please put it in the comments? That that was pretty wild. All right, what what, what do we got? Like uh, what what's next? A face, a fish, deep sea creature. That that's a fish. That looks like a human. In fact, I think I know somebody who looks like that. Wow, look at that. Is that real? That looks real, right? Huh. And the ocean's full of a lot of mysterious things. I, I like anything to do with ocean, water, sea creatures. It's it's uh, mind boggling. It's fantastic. Alright, so we got a we got a caterpillar that seems like it's making a very hairline incision on what is that? A leaf. Like, what is it doing? Okay. Oh, wow. Very good. Oh, you see what, what the caterpillar just did there? It made a cut, but then... And it, it's doing this for obvious reasons, right? I mean, I, I really truly don't know why this caterpillar's like intent, like what, what its intent was to do this. But to me, it seems like the caterpillar is trying to hide from prey, uh, to hide, uh, sorry, to hide from, uh, oh, wow, look at that. To, okay, so the caterpillar is clearly, I think, hungry, wanting to eat this leaf. And it's vis it's clearly visible, right? So it's susceptible to like you know predators, you know like uh, birds and other kinds of insects that might think of it as a, a meal. So to hide itself, it it created the it like made this like little envelope in the leaf, so the leaf would fall on top of it. See how clever this caterpillar was when this caterpillar was making that incision. That leaf technically would have fallen to the ground but what it did is it started to do these other horizontal striations in the leaf so that it would actually fold over that's cool and now it's starting to make these other horizontal or vertical lines sorry uh, depending on how you look at it 
um, to kind so that the leaf doesn't sh doesn't look like it's shaded or like look like doesn't look like it's an anomaly. Um, it's trying to camouflage this caterpillar is trying to camouflage it, uh, camouflage itself within the leaf so that it looks hidden. Very very wow, and and, and we say we're we're the intelligent species, right? Okay, okay. What do we got? Three, okay, two, we got a police one, officer. go. Okay, fingers okay. in. Okay, oh. seatbelt comes off. There we go. Loop in. Oh. Okay, now with my other hand, I'm going to kick the seat back and I'm going to open mm -hmm. the seat. Uh, I'm going to open the door. Okay, three, two, one. All the way down. I'm out and I oh, can wow. escape freely. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay, so this guy's ah. going to, I guess, try it out. Two fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Seat down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <We> <laughs> oh that's not gonna work out. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Didn't go. end well. Okay. Fingers in. Okay. Yeah, Seat buckles I mean, off. There we go. Yeah. Communist Party. You know, I, I I'm, a, I'm I'm just gonna make an assumption here, but I'm assuming it's not wise to buy a vehicle that's fully loaded with all the bells and whistles, as they would say, right? Uh, anything that's really high tech, fancy, because even my car takes a while to, zzz, right? So you need something that's manual. You need you need something that doesn't have all the bells and whistles. So next time you go buy a vehicle, and you're worried that you're going to get abducted in your car, try to find something where it's manual so that you can do all those things in rapid fashion. Um, okay, so we're on to our last video Communist here. Party? It looks like Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated hey, or that's, affiliated that's with the Chinese TikTok. Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Of what nation are you a citizen? I've seen this. Singapore. Sen Are you a citizen of any other nation? Singapore. No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I served my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I'm, I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Clearly. Yes, and I served my military for two, two and a half years in Singapore. Do you, have, do you have any other passports from any other nations? No, Senator. Your wife is an American citizen. Your children are American citizens. That's have correct. You, have you ever applied for American citizenship? Not, no. Hmm. Awkward. All right, guys, uh, I think that's all we have today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining us and, um, you know, taking the time to watch these videos with me and uh, and reacting with me. Uh, you know, th there was some pretty interesting stuff in here. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of more videos uh, for the next time. Thanks for supporting the channel, uh, Duality9X. And, and hey guys, listen, uh, if, you, if, you're, if you like the content, if you like and hear what you see, uh, it would do us a great favor if you can like and subscribe and share this content with your friends. And so until next time, until our next adventure, and in the meantime and in between time, don't do anything that's crazy. Don't do anything that's going to get you in trouble. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.